Hey guys, this is Eric from Himalaya Australia. May have been asked by quite a few of our followers. Um, you know, you need to start posting some videos of your builds instead of just putting photos up. Um, you know, people asking a lot of questions about these builds and wanting to know a bit more about them and how we do things. So I thought, you know what, let's start making videos. So to start this off, we might as well go through this sump that we've got here which is one of our latest builds okay so this is a custom Hamali sump um, this layout and design um, was specific to the client's needs this was kind of the layout and design that he wanted to obviously we put a few of our little uh, minor touches to it now this is going into a water box I believe uh, the overall dimensions of this sump is about 800 by 450 by 500 um, it's got a built-in custom Hamali roller mat. Now these roller mats you're going to start seeing uh, on quite a few of our uh, upcoming sump builds. These are becoming a standard now of the industry and we've put our own roller mat together. We've designed kind of more of a universal system so we can adapt these to any sump. So these work with a 100 meter roll cloth. So they just basically just slides into its own little pocket there um, and then which obviously feeds down through the inside of here the front section here is the mechanical side of it which is the electronic motor um, we have these couple of screws here on the side which is a side plane which we undo um, and then obviously that barrel comes out which enables the dirty cloth to be removed the roller mats come with all waterproof plugs has an override button on the side there so when you initially set the roller up you can just wind some cloth on there put a bit of tension onto it without having to try to get in there um, and trying to flick that float switch up so so basically this roller mat like I said it's going to be a standard now with a lot of our sumps uh, giving people the option we all know how frustrating it is uh, running filter socks and having to change them out, you know, every second day. These 100 meter rolls, you're going to get months out of it, depending on, um, obviously, your buyer load, how much waste is going through your system will obviously depend on the longevity of the cloth. Now, what we've got here, well, actually, might as well come on the back here. So, on the back here, we've got our two one-inch bulkheads. So, they're the feeds from the tank coming into the sump, directly under those bulkheads which is at the back behind that roller mat we have a silencer chamber which then the water is diverted here in th through a thin basically like a canal panel which the water then flows through that grill into the main part of the roller chamber now the way we've done these roller mats is that these rollers they're free spinning so they spin which helps take any load and pressure off the mechanics and stress on the cloth itself now the way we've done this to make it easy to feed new cloth because i know with a couple of these other roller mat systems that are on the market um, they can be quite a nightmare um, to set new cloth trying to get it in there around the rollers and things like that so what we've done here is we've come up with these little tabs which basically they just turn to the side there just get in there slide the pipe out you do that with the back one as well drop your cloth in bring it through and then once you've fed your cloth through it's just a matter of putting that back in and then closing it up and then obviously you'd bring your cloth back up wrap it around that cylinder there and it's good to go now we've got, with the roller mat as well, we've got an adjustable float switch there too. So that enables um, you to sort of set when you want that roller mat to activate uh, based on the water level. For those that don't know much about these roller mats, basically the way it works is, is water builds up in this chamber. As the cloth gets dirty, the water is struggling obviously to pass through the cloth because it's blocked up. Uh, the water level does start to rise once the water level starts to rise, it's gonna hit that float switch, which will then 
start feeding fresh cloth down which will enable that water to pass back through which will then lower the water levels. Now what we've done also too, because we've got this bottom plate in here, um, when it comes to servicing and things like that, what we've done is these little tabs on the side obviously play two roles. So when you're sort of doing your annual cleaning, um, you just take out the tube and then this plate comes out so you can actually get inside there and clean it. It's a recessed plate so it's this flush mount so there's um, no sharp edges or anything for that cloth to get caught on as it's passing over that. And that just fits back in there like so. Okay, now the water will then come through obviously the bottom baffle there enter in here to the main chamber which is going to be the skimmer chamber now this skimmer chamber I believe is going to house um, one of Delua's great white skimmers so it was obviously made to fit that skimmer we've also got here twin heater mounts which are side wall mounted uh, then above that we've got our adjustable baffle as well so we can then tune in the water height related to the skimmer we've got emergency cutouts because all of our baffles as you see on all of our sumps they come they all finish flush to the underside of the top plate of the sump so we have emergency cutouts on all of our baffles so if one chamber was to block up of some kind for any reason uh, water will always pass through would never get a block up and start over over spilling now we're coming to the next section here. The customer requested that he wanted two Hamali resin reactors. So these are the reactors that we make for Blue Life USA's line of resins. So we've incorporated them into this build. Now these reactors are removable. So obviously when it comes to cleaning, um, recharging the resin, things like that, makes things a lot easier. So you can just take that straight out. Each reactor is running a Sitchi pump. So we've got two Sitchi pumps in there for each reactor. Now also, the client wanted to be able to use this area too to hold media. So obviously we've got this opening here which obviously allows the customer to get in there to service that chamber, access those pumps, and also be able to store media in there as well. Now if you come here to the front, this is a built-in ATO, so it's about a 15 litre. Um, we've got, you can see here, all of our lids are all flush mount lids that we build on our sumps. It's just a much nicer finish. Got your cable cut out so you can feed all your cables through. On the back here, we've got our return pump chamber. So we've got plenty of room to fit, I think he's running Ecotech pump. Um, we've got our probe holder there as well again with our recessed lids also with our recessed lids we do um, thumb screws as well so obviously fastens them down if you've got any young kids that sort of like to get a bit adventurous that sort of helps keep them out as well now at the back here we've got two one inch bulkheads one's an auxiliary so that will be the return back from his chiller and his uv light and the other one is obviously the feed that's going back to the tank uh, there's all of our dosing inputs there, quarter inch John guest fittings. Now this sump here, again, it's got all of our LED lighting. So for those who want to pimp out their system, these are a standard now with all of our sumps. So basically here at Hamali guys, we can build you anything that you guys want. Whatever sump configuration, design, um, whatever your needs are, requirements, we can make whatever you need. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of you have seen on previous builds, um, some of the wild things that you know our customers 
have requested. And just like you all know, we all know as hobbyists, you know, everyone's system is different, everyone's running different equipment, um, which therefore, all this, everyone's sump has different needs. So this sump here, you can see it's, it's not a big sump, but it is sure packed with goodies. Now our roller mats here, uh, we've, these are all manufactured in-house. We've made these so that way they're a bit more of a universal type system where we can adapt these roller mats to any sump. Uh, or whether you want to have a freestanding roller mat adapted to an existing sump, we can use the mechanics from these roller mats that we manufacture um, and we can adapt it to work with anybody's system. They are going to be the standard of the industry now. We all know how much um, we all love our filter socks and having to change them out every couple of days. These roller mats um, hold 100 metres of cloth. I think we're the only ones on the market who are running um, these roller mats with that amount of cloth on them. So you're going to get quite a few months out of it. So this sump, as a complete package, obviously you got your, um, it comes with the Citri pumps, it comes with the power supply for the LED lights, comes with the interchanging remote control as well, so you can change settings and make it flash and do all pretty cool disco moves. People say, why would ya? I say, why not? Um, they have become very popular. And we all want a detailed engine bay. Same with the roller mats, they come with their own power supply, um, with all the cables, everything that needs to be ready to plug and play. So that is it guys. Gee, while I got yours, I'm sure that yous have all been following this latest build, this is our monster sump that, um, well actually the biggest sump that we've built to date. Um, and as far as I'm aware, it's the biggest acrylic sump that's to come out that's come out of Australia. Uh, this is for a, a lovely client of ours in New Zealand. Um, she's got a massive system that she's building at the moment. She just had a massive um, 32 mil thick, four point, I think seven meter long acrylic tank. Um, manufactured and this is going to be the sump that is going to be running it so this thing's about 80% built just got a few little things to finish off like the front panel um, and we've got to install the roller mechanism which is going to be in this section here so this one should be pretty much sorted out by next week and we'll put a video of this one and do a walkthrough alright guys so until the next one mate we shall See you again. Bye for now.